Hey there, this is Dion from Kimama Mosaics and in this episode I'm going to be showing you how I use this in my mosaic pieces. Let's go! So I am continuing on with these pieces here, these three pieces. Uh, so the last episode I showed you uh, this section that I completed. Um, I don't think I showed you all of these. So this is the other one. Hope you can see that. And this is the third one. And in all three of these pieces, um, I've used slate, which I've got from B&Q. This is, um, was an actual um, a dial, I think you call it. Is it called it a hanging dial? It had, it was, there were about, I don't know, eight or nine pieces of this um, strung together and I just took them apart and I'm using these now in as part of my mosaic projects. Um, and then I've got some stone here, which I think is granite, but I'm not quite sure. Um, and then these are semi-precious stones and I shall get the name of them because I don't have it to hand right now. I've got, I've put a little scarab beetle in there, got some beads and some iridescent um, beads there too. So to complete this, all three of these, I'm going to be using a wonderful small tea and I love this one. I got this one from Hobby Island Mosaics. Um, it's quite chunky as you can see there and um, shiny. Oh, it's just really lovely. I'll leave the description of where, or the details of where I actually purchased this from. So I'm gonna break this up. I'm gonna show you how I do this. Um, it comes in a pizza, and then um, I break up, I slice a little bit, and then I break up the rest into these wonderful things. So let me show you how I do that. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how I cut this pizza slice and how, how I use my hammer and hardy to um, break it again. So I've, I've got my glass cutter here and I'm basically gonna score a line just like that. I'm not sure you can pick that up in the camera. And then I'm just going to do this. And there you go. I'll show you again. Actually, I'll do it with a smaller piece. Score the line. And then it breaks. Just like that. Okay, so I've broken up these into irregular chunks. And I really like the sizes here to add to my mosaic but I've had a little change of plan um, I've decided I'm going to continue along here and continue that with some more slate because I didn't want to use up too much of the green I really love the green and it's running out already and I still need it for my last piece so I'm going to extend this section out um, with some slate and then this part here is going to be filled with the green so I'm gonna do like a quick um, speed sped up video of me doing this section so I don't think you need to watch me doing this lab laboriously one by one so let's get that done now and then we'll move on to the green which I'm really oh can't wait to do So now that I've completed this section, it looks pretty interesting, quite like it. We'll obviously use the larger pieces to finish it, let's get a little bit of a side on there. Um, and then I'm going to complete it with the small tea in the background that you can see there. So whilst I'm here, I may as well explain to you what these beautiful stones mean. So I've got a mixture here of Appetite and Chrysocola, I hope I'm pronouncing those both of those words correctly. 
So appetite um, is generally used to help to increase insight, uh, creativity and learning. And when you wear it, um, it's supposed to enhance your focus and clarity. So I thought that was quite interesting. And I have noticed that I have been more focused when I'm doing these ones. And Chrysocola, which is the cayenne blue, this one, if I can just go up a little bit closer, this one. This brings harmony, increases your wisdom, um, promotes level-headedness, gives you a calm kind of attitude. Um, so this all relates to me really, because that's kind of how I describe myself. Um, and it helps with um, turbulence in the home, it helps to purify the home and environment or, or where you live. And yeah, it's a pretty cool stone to have in your life. So there you go. All right, let's move on to the next part. Okay, so I thought I'd show you how I mix my adhesive. So I've got my flexi pot here and I've got a scoop full of Maxi Flex Fiber by Bao. That's the one I use in white. So I just pop it in and I tend to just use a scoop for this kind of size um, mosaic. And, and then I mix two little teaspoons, and this is a little teaspoon that I've got, of the, I've got Harrowstone colour, so I'll just move this out the way. So this is in the UK, obviously. Um, this is it here, and it's a big tub, two kilo, and it's the Harrowstone um, colour brand, and it's, uh, what's it called? Ultra Black. Ultra Black. And I basically take two teaspoons of this and mix it in dry, first of all. Give it a good mix. Please do wear a mask when you're doing this because you don't want to inhale the, the dust, the silica from this. And then, with cold water, I just make a little well, pour in my water, and then mix it in. And I do this quite slowly because sometimes if you put in too much water, it will just go running. So I just do it bit by bit. With practice, you'll get to know exactly how much water you need. So I think this might be it actually. Let's see. consistency there you go so let's go so I take some of my adhesive as you've seen previously <laughs> spread it pretty generously in the area where I'm going to start I usually tend to do small areas and then um, work my way along so let's start with this. All right, this is gonna be a sped up video. But we'll start off slow and then we'll start to speed up. I hope you're enjoying it so far. Okay, let's speed this up. OK, 
Okay, so I'm literally just going to finish it off by um, doing a layer of grout, a grout, <laughs> a layer of cement all the way around the edge just to finish it off nicely. Um, it's a bit tricky for me to do it on camera. This angle, um, but I'm sure you get my meaning. All right, so let me just get on with this and then I will show you all of them. Can't wait. See you in a bit. Okay, so that's it for this video, but I will be showing you how I use my Hammer and Hardy. I'm aware that I didn't actually show you the whole process of how I use my Hammer and Hardy to break up these pieces into chunks. So I will show you that at some point. I didn't have the quite quite the right setup because every time I was doing the demonstration, the camera just kept going a bit crazy. So I will do that. But anyway, thank you for watching. Um, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video um, and in the meantime I will do a little close-up of these after this clip. See you in the next video.